<laughs> I'm Sarah Noble. And I'm Alex Beard, and this is the Active Filter Labs. So today in lab, we made um, low-pass and high-pass filters. Um, a low-pass filter attenuates frequencies higher than omega naught or set point frequency. High-pass filters attenuate frequencies below omega naught or that set point frequency. And then we applied this to music. All right, so here we have our circuit built on paper, and I went ahead and built it in LT Spice. We changed some of its settings, and then we looked at the voltage coming in and the voltage coming out. And as you can see, our phase is equal to 90 degrees. And then if we go ahead and put our cursor on where the input and the output voltages are equal, our frequency of 300, um, before that, we would expect amplification and then below that frequency, we would expect attenuation. And so then where our voltages meet, we would call that our omega naught. As you can see, our T1 is about three times as big as our T2, and we got an angle of 96.5 degrees. This photo is a picture of the oscilloscopes and its cursors, and that's what we use to measure our T1 and T2. So right now we have the music playing as normal. It's quite loud, uh, but you can see on the oscilloscope uh, the frequencies of the music. And now I'm about to change it to a low pass. So you can hear that the bass is accentuated. Um, you can't really hear any of the high frequencies of the music. Um, and you can see that it's accentuated on the oscilloscope as well. And now I'm going to bring it to a high pass. Pretty much only hear the high aspects because essentially voice because you can't hear the bass so it amplifies the high frequencies boom and you can see it on the oscilloscope right there we're gonna look at the gain of our lab or the theory um gain equals v out or, or excuse me v in over v out and we can set that to negative x capacitance over r and we're gonna ignore this resistor and then we know that the capacitance, x capacitance, is equal to negative 1 over j omega c over r. And then we get negative 1 j, negative 1 over j omega r c. We're going to assume that omega naught is equal to 1 over r c. And then we're going to get negative j omega over omega naught. Bring omega naught to the top. And then we'll get negative omega naught uh, over j times omega. We're going to times j um, over j, and what that's going to get us is a positive j, and so then we'll have j times omega naught over omega, and as omega approaches infinity, we would expect that the um, frequencies that are high will be attenuated and the frequencies that are low will be amplified. As omega approaches omega naught, uh, it won't change our output. And then as omega approaches zero, we would expect that the low frequencies attenuate and the high frequencies amplify. And our phase never changes. It's always going to be positive J or 90 degrees. And we went ahead and saw this in lab.